for 2022, the uh, Forerunner's largely unchanged, and it is a classic color we're looking at today. This is Blizzard Pearl and the limited edition. So let's get started right here up front. So the limited edition is more of a luxury version of the Forerunner, and so they've got a lot of chrome on the limited, including the huge uh, chrome Toyota badge up front, and then these uh, chrome bars running across the grill, and then a large chrome strip that runs or spans across the top of the bumper there. Limited comes standard with so many great features, including the LED headlight package, projector style there. This one has the high intensity LED fog lights and you can see, see they're surrounded by the chrome as well as protected by that ABS plastic there. Parking assist down into the bumper and then another chrome accent down there on the lower part of the bumper. So Blizzard Pearl, uh, is an extra charge of four and a quarter. Let me know in the comments if you like it. There's a new diamond white color out now called Windchill Pearl. This is not that color. This is the old uh, wind uh, Blizzard Pearl. We do have the forward facing camera for your 360 view mounted right there in the lower bumper. There's also gonna be some cameras under your outside mirrors. The Limited does ride on these uh, 20 inch uh, cast aluminum wheels are kind of a uh, satin finish with the gloss black painted inserts chrome lug nuts this is a a narrower sidewall on here so this is a 245 series tire uh, a 60 uh, sidewall on here um, not the best setup for going off-road um, you're more likely to pick up some uh, scuffs on your wheels off-road, but it'll, it's good for occasional off-road. I just don't recommend heavy-duty off-roading Particularly because this one does also have the factory running boards which drops the profile of the vehicle down Makes it easier to get in but those will pick up dents and dings when you're doing that off-road driving Notice those uh, running boards also have chrome in them as well There's also another chrome accent down there on the bottom of the door and then also chrome door handles and chrome uh, window trim on the lower part of the windows. So definitely dressed up a little bit more with all the chrome that they put on the Limited. The outside mirror caps are painted colored to match Blizzard Pearl. Chrome accents around your turn signals built into the mirrors. Here's one of those uh, additional cameras for the 360 view. And then these mirrors do fold in. They also break away. They do have blind spot monitoring. They're also heated outside mirrors and they're also power operated. <coughs> Excuse me. The uh, limited edition does come standard with the power sliding uh, root moon roof, the silver trimmed uh, rail system, and then the crossbars up there. That's gonna be an extra charge on here of $185 extra. And then we do have a Chrome Limited badging, privacy glass on all of the back windows, including the uh, tailgate there. We also have the mud guards on this one here, front and rear mud guards. We do have four wheel disc brakes, analog brakes, traction control, and of course this is a uh, four wheel drive edition. Up top, we've got a color to match shark fin antenna upper spoilers color to match brake lights here rear wiper is tucked up underneath neath there so you really can't see it and then of course rear window defrost and more chrome chrome toyota chrome forerunner this does also have a chrome exhaust tip and then chrome trim across the bottom of the bumper there backup sensors in the bumpers backup camera in the tailgate the Forerunner does not have a power lift gate. It is a manual lift gate, and it really pops up big, nice and high. Um, there are some assist handles here to bring it down. We'll take a look at the full interior here later in the video. Down below, Forerunner does come standard with the Class 4 trailer uh, towing receiver. Also comes with a uh, spare, uh, full-size spare tire up underneath here. And there's your uh, wiring right there. Four and seven pin wiring. And here's a quick look at the suspension up underneath as well. Hopefully you could see that. 
crystal clear lenses on your tail lenses. A real nice profile. There are uh, almost nothing on the road that has better resale value than the uh, Forerunner. Maybe the Toyota Tacoma, but a super high quality unit. So let's go ahead and pop the hood and take a look at that engine. In the uh, Toyota lineup, the Forerunner uh, uses a 4 liter uh, 24 valve V6. It's the only Toyota that uses this engine, but it's just been so uh, so reliable and uh, such a great engine for this uh, for this vehicle that um, it's hard to get rid of something that works really well. So it's a 4 liter, uh, 270 horsepower, 278 foot pounds of torque connected to a five-speed automatic transmission. Uh, the Limited does have the X-Rays um, suspension system, which gives it maybe a more of a sporty uh, ride, sport-tuned ride. Uh, it is uh, four-wheel drive, of course, and then it does come standard with the uh, trailer towing package, which includes an uh, up, upsized battery, alternator, uh, power steering cooler, transmission cooler. The engine and the transmission combined uh, for 20, I'm sorry, 17 miles per gallon city and highway. Uh, the warranty is a five year, 60,000 mile powertrain warranty. You also get Toyota Care, so that's gonna cover your basic maintenance, your fluid top offs, your oil changes, and your tire rotations. Toyota covers that for uh, two years or 25,000 miles. And then the vehicle itself has a uh, three year, 36,000 mile limited warranty, no deductible there. Let's go ahead and uh, dive inside and check it out. Diving inside the uh, limited edition, we'll take a quick look at the door. Now what's interesting about this one is it does have the chocolate interior, leather seats, uh, but the door has none of that on there other than a little bit of uh, brown stitching here in the door panel itself. Otherwise, it's a padded armrest. There's uh, one touch up and down on all four windows, power door locks, door handles chrome, a little storage cubby right here for your pocket change. Memory seat and outside mirror controls right there. Bottle holders, pockets, and speakers down here on the door. The standard layout on the Limited. Take a look at our seats. Now these are going to be a leather seat here with a power driver seat including power lumbar support. Again, this is kind of a chocolate leather, perforated leather, heated seats ventilated seat and it has kind of an orange contrast stitching in the seats themselves height adjustable headrest height adjustable seat belts side uh, impact airbags up on the dashboard you'll discover four of these uh, vents up down left right on and off power mirror controls are down here dimmer switch for your dash lights we have automatic high beams also on and off uh, automatic headlights Here's our 360 view switch. We also have a 120 volt AC converter back in the trunk that turns that on. Electronic front window de-icer is right here. So a lot of great uh, standard features. Here's your hood release, dead pedal, brake and gas where they should be. And then this has a manual uh, tilt and telescoping steering wheel. Let's go ahead and uh, grab a seat. Behind the wheel of the Forerunner, there is quite a bit of space up front here more than I would expect but I'm kind of a little guy 5'7 so there's usually a lot of room in just about everything I've got my camera basically up against my nose just so you can get a perspective of the interior and then I did want to point out the uh, amount of leg room so I've got the driver's seat all the way back and you can see I can barely touch the pedal uh, I'm 5'7 so six footers I think will be just fine in here um, I'll show you the back seat room a little bit later in the video. So your steering wheel is leather wrapped. It is not a heated steering wheel, not available. Um, controls for your sound system, Bluetooth connectivity for your smartphone, driver's side airbag, controls for your information, your fuel computer up here in the dash. See that in just a second. Dynamic radar cruise control on and off and lane departure on and off as well. And then cruise controls down here uh, 
just behind the steering wheel and it's really been there for a long time for the Toyota products. Newer products it's changing and is now up on the steering wheel uh, but still down here for 2022 on the 4Runner. Wiper controls, so you have front wiper and rear washer wiper controls and intermittent settings for both front and rear. And then over on this side are the headlight controls. As I mentioned before, you have auto on and off for, head, for your headlights, also auto high beams, and then the fog light controls are this switch right here. Take a look at our gauge cluster. I've got it shut off now. I'm gonna go ahead and start it up. You do get the smart keyless entry system on the limited edition. So it is a push button start, foot on the brake, and we can just go ahead and start it up. And so a bit of, a, of an animation when it first starts. Uh, this is a white on black backlit cluster with these really cool uh, LED uh, indicators here they're red I like that looks cool at night uh, information center and your fuel computers right there in the middle and I mentioned before you can control them right here and then we have our speed or our, our I'm sorry our fuel gauge and our speedometer over on this side and some indicator lights like the parking assist is on right now so I can use these controls to scroll through and take a look at my steering angle there's a compass in there uh, I control the audio system and then I also have the lane departure assist, pre-collision, blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert. So a number of things I can set up and turn off for my own liking. Let's uh, go ahead and take a look at the center stack. There is a uh, digital clock up here. Of course, more vents. Your four ways are here. And then we get to the sound system. So this is the JBL audio system. It's standard on the limited edition, so you do automatically get dynamic uh, navigation with points of interest on there as well. Uh, as far as the audio features, you've got AM, FM, Sirius satellite radio. You get three months of the platinum uh, subscription. And then it's uh, Alexa, Apple CarPlay, and Android all of those compatibilities and of course you have Bluetooth connectivity as well. Um, the JBL audio system does provide you with some additional uh, speakers and a subwoofer in the trunk. I'll show you when we get back there. This is also an HD radio on the um, on the 4Runner. So we have automatic temperature control right here for the driver side and then the passenger side is over here. We also have uh, front window defrost I'm sorry, rear window defrost, front window defrost, uh, rear outside mirrors, that, that switch right there can get the ice and snow off of your outside mirrors. Moving down the center uh, stack here, we've got, let's see, some USB charger here, heated and ventilated seat controls are down here, and then there is a 12 volt outlet right there as well. A little bit of a storage cubby down here. There's no wireless charging in the uh, 4Runner. Here's your four-wheel drive selector. There's a cup holder and an odds and ends tray or a place to throw your ink pens. The limited edition does have some uh, wood treatments on the inside, so this is kind of a faux wood treatment. And then also up over here on the dashboard. So pretty subtle with the wood, but also leather wrapped here on the back side of the shifter. As I mentioned, this is a five-speed automatic transmission, and it's one of, uh, one of those uh, gated transmissions and then you can also have the ability to manually switch and move through the gears. did want to show you the backup camera so there's your backup camera and the limited has a 360 camera so you can see overhead views you can change your perspectives and all that type of stuff is available there and then if I hit and turn that on it also has the ability to look forward on the vehicle. Moving back to the uh, center console, there's a little storage here. There's another cup holder. Power window switch for your back window. So this is the tailgate window. So if I show you here that window back there can be opened and closed. Not many SUVs have that anymore. That in conjunction with the factory moonroof and the ability to roll down all your other windows really bring a lot of fresh air into the uh, 4Runner. It's a, it's a nice feature to have for sure. As far as your center armrest, it's very big. It's a padded armrest. No problem fitting uh, two elbows or two 
forearms on there. There's a little storage cubby under here, a pen holder. This is a pretty nice storage area down through here. And then there is a 12 volt outlet down there as well. And a little coin uh, holder as well down there. So this does not lock up and they do offer um, a safe that can be put in here as well. I think that, that would run an extra, I think it's $399. Heading over to look at the passenger side, everything's similar to what we find on the driver's side. Uh, I mentioned the wood here. This is interesting, it's kind of uh, textured. You do have side impact airbags, you have passenger assist grips there, handles up here, lighted vanity mirrors. This really is a luxury vehicle, so it has all those luxury amenities you'd expect. Uh, your glove box is a locking glove box, so you can lock that with your key. And it's a really nice size and of course you do get all your owner's manual and you do get a little uh, wiring pigtail here for your trailer brakes if you want to set those up as well. Of course there is a passenger side airbag. We've got an automatic dimming outside mirror. Overhead we've got uh, map lights, reading lights, garage door openers, moonroof controls, traction control on and off, active track on and off downhill assist on and off, uh, safety connect if you need roadside assistance. There's a place for your sunglasses right here. So a lot of little cubbies and places to put stuff and uh, to get it out of sight and out of mind, keep it clean inside your vehicle. Let's go ahead and uh, jump in the back seat. Before we uh, jump in the back seat, I wanted to show you how the back seats fold down. So first off, in order to get them fold, folded down, you do need to move the, forward, the, back, the front seats forward a little bit. Otherwise, it just won't flop down the way it did. So I brought this down. They both work the same way. You bring up that piece first, and then you can bring down the back. And it's interesting because you have a 40-20-40 uh, fold down. So you can take down the outsides, the insides, a lot of different combinations there. Uh, on the backs of the seats, you'll discover uh, tethers here for child safety seats and then you also have the first aid kit the Toyota first aid kit uh, comes standard on there uh, I will say it's not the easiest rear seat to fold down but once you get it down it's very practical it does fold up pretty easily you can see the headrest retracts or folds over and then you can bring it up like this to get it back to position one of the things I do like about the seats folding up like this is if you have something to put in here like a toolbox and you don't want to set it on the seat, you can flop that up, put your boxes right here, and then you're not setting it on top of your leather seats. So I do like that about it. The backs of the seats are hard plastic, so really durable. And then they have these nice uh, nets on the back. So if you throw you know, a wet towel or something like that in there, hopefully it's not gonna get moldy. It can dry out in there. Take a look inside, there's a uh, couple vents down here and then there's some USB ports down on the floor uh, there's no temperature controls back here you do have uh, overhead lighting you do have passenger assist grips back here and then this armrest folds down to expose two cup holders for the backseat passengers and I mentioned earlier that the uh, this center section folds down so you can bring this down so if let's say you had snow skis or extra long golf clubs or garden tools you can slide them up through the center here so this is the uh, only the forerunner has that ability in the Toyota lineup most of them have a 60 40 uh, rear seat configuration so you've got 40 20 40 configuration on the forerunner so very comfortable there are some side curtain airbags back here you do sit up nice and high in the back seat uh, I've got this seat about three quarters of the way forward and you can see how much room there is. These are actually carved out too. They're sculpted out so they do give you more uh, leg room. And when you're sitting back here, you're actually sitting up a little bit higher than the front driver and front passenger. So it's more of a stadium style seating in the back of the Forerunner. So you can see the lift gate on the Forerunner does lift up really high which is nice because it gets out of your way and you're not going to bonk your head it is not a power lift gate and you're going to want to make sure when you open it it doesn't go all the way up in your garage and hit your garage door so 
be aware of that. There are some passenger or some uh, assist handles here. There's a strap here to help pull it down, but again, it's not power. There are two speakers in there as well as two lamps or lights. So it makes for a really great uh, tailgating vehicle. Put all your food on the back end and get underneath there and keep the sun out or if it starts to rain. I always comment on the size of the step bumper here. I like it a lot because it makes it a, gives it a place to sit down to take off your boots, to switch out your ski boots or what have you, or if you're just sitting down to have a cocktail tailgating. Huge opening in the back of the Forerunner, and I've got the seats folded down. Take a look at how much room there is in here. Uh, no doubt you could put a twin air mattress in here and do an overnight uh, camp out. There's tie-down hooks at all four corners. You do have a little storage cubby at the uh, Limited, comes with the cargo net. Uh, it does not come with the cargo cover though, which is interesting. Uh, here's that JBL subwoofer I mentioned earlier. Tie down here, here's your 120 volt, here's your 12 volt plug-in. So just a lot of extra room back here. You can put the cargo net and stretch it across the back. You can see the amount of headroom and there's coat hooks back here. So it's, it is a very spacious interior uh, on the 2022 Forerunner Limited. So that's the uh, overview on the 2022 Toyota Forerunner Limited Edition Blizzard Pearl. Hey, if you like this uh, video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the uh, comments and I'll do my best to answer them. This is Tony here at Smart Toyota. Thanks for watching.